Hi Scorpio, welcome to Angel Love 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe. Uh, a couple things before we start your reading. And there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates, you can check it out. It may not resonate with every Scorpio out there, so just take what's meant for you. You can leave the rest. Uh, secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All that info is below in the description box as well. Be careful because there are scammers and they try to duplicate my account uh, and solicit my followers for money, okay? So if they solicit you, that is not me. If I do personal readings, I will announce here on my channel, all right? Uh, also, I do appreciate all of your support, Scorpio. I thank you. Uh, please like, subscribe, share the video. It does help my channel grow and it also helps me to connect to your energy. So with that, Scorpio, uh, let's pull some cards. Let's see what the energy is here for Scorpio. Energy here for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? All right, let's see what we got here. All right, wow. The first card out you have is the Tower. You have the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, You have here the Eight of Swords, the High Priestess, okay, and the Hermit. All right. So, Scorpio, if this has not happened already, okay, because everybody's timing is different, I feel like there was some sort of shocking secret that is going to come out, or it already came out, okay? Um... It may be that something happened unexpectedly, could be a breakup between you and someone, um, or I get there's an energy of maybe things came to a place where it just was not working anymore and then that tower moment happened. It's an energy where it could be that you never gained clarity, right? You were feeling stuck here with that eight of swords, having a hard time moving on, right? There could have been a lot of unknowns here, but I do feel that there was something unexpected, maybe uh, definitely feels like an energy that this is something that may be heavily on your mind. And what I'm gonna say here, if it, if um, you know, it could be a secret that you found out about. If not, I feel here with the Three of Swords here, you may feel like there is some sort of secret or something unknown here, or there may be a secret that's going to be revealed. We'll, we'll clarify, we'll see what this is about. Because there's a lot of cards here, um, or quite a few, uh, where I feel like there are unknowns because you have the Two of Swords here as well. So I feel like somebody here isn't telling you the complete truth about something is really what I'm picking up, okay? It does feel like this is somebody here uh, from your past with the Six of Cups here, a soulmate energy. We're going to clarify. We'll see where this is going. You do have the Hermit and you have the Page of Wands. So you have a strong Virgo and you also have fire energy. We have air, strong Cancer, and strong Pisces. I feel, um, to Scorpio, you may be, uh, your intuition may be telling you here, right, that this person, somebody may be secretive with you. Um, I see communication, okay, Page of Wands, I see communication. You got the Hermit card here as well. So, I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of soul searching about this situation, trying to, uh, maybe find some clarity, Right, uh, look back on uh, the experience you had in this situation, right? Trying to find the answers here. Uh, I'm gonna say here, you know, this page of wands can't even be new love, okay? But let's, um, I feel like this is more your energy here with the hermit, maybe taking time to yourself. Maybe you've been in hermit mode, okay? Uh, trying to find clarity. There's definitely something I feel unknown here. Let's start with the tower. Why is the tower and the eight of swords here, please? Why is the tower and the eight of swords here, please? And this may be a situation, you know, this two of swords can be an energy of, you know, refusing to see something, right? Uh, and, you know, maybe you're refusing to see it because you can't see it. I don't know. 
But let's see why the Tower and the Eight of Swords is here, please. Why is the Tower and the Eight of Swords here? You have the Hermit again. You have the Five of Wands. You have the Judgment card. King of Swords. Okay. Yeah. This person needs to be honest with you about something. I feel like there is somebody here from the past. Uh, the person that you are dealing with here. Okay. Uh, I feel like this could be, uh, you know, possibly here a karmic. Uh, could be an ex with children here. You got the Judgment card and the Five of Wands. So I feel like there was some sort of, it could be, you know, drama. It feels like drama from the past uh, that interfered between you and this person here, okay? Definitely picking up children here, um, or there could have just been other people interfering, you know, third-party situation doesn't necessarily mean uh, another love. You also have the hermit here again, okay? So it kind of feels uh, that when this happened, uh, you may have gone into hermit mode here, Scorpio, uh, trying to kind of figure out all of this here. It could be your person to know that energies and roles can be reversed. But I, let's see here why the high priestess and the three of swords is here, please. What's the secret or what's the unknown here with the high priestess and the three of swords? Why is the high priestess here? And it may be that your intuition was telling you this, okay? Why is the Three of Swords and the High Priestess here, please? You have the Five of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Wands. You have the Hangman. The Two of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. Interesting. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Fool card. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like your intuition is telling you here that um, that this person, I feel, has not been completely honest with you about something, okay? It can be that this person ghosted you. You do have the Five of Pentacles, all right? Um, you know, it could be that your intuition was telling you that this person, you know, was going to hurt you in some sort of way. But I feel there was something here from the past um, that showed up unexpectedly here, okay, whether it was you or whether it was your person here, but it caused some sort of drama here or interference in the connection here, and I don't feel like you know the whole story of what is going on, okay? This person may have ghosted you, right, or they didn't uh, really put in much effort here. You have the Nine of Wands, you have the Hangman showing me here delays, maybe you, you, maybe you waited for this person, right? Uh, the hangman here, okay? Maybe you're starting to see things differently. You could have sacrificed a lot in this connection. You have the two of pentacles as well. So I do feel that possibly here, this could, you know, this could be somebody who's wishy-washy, um, could have been juggling uh, you and another energy here is what I'm feeling, okay? You do got the page of cups here, This could be you too, Scorpio. Could be a new person came into your life, but you got the full card on the bottom of the deck here. Nine of Swords, Page of Swords here. Interesting, Page of Pentacles. I feel, Scorpio, you may have just come out of a very um, complicated situation. This can be the energy, energy where your intuition is telling you to move on from a situation is what I'm getting here. Two of Pentacles, Page of Cups here. So very well so. It does feel like there could be a new beginning here, a new a new love here. You got the Fool card, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords, and you have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, I get here because you got communication here too. I get that, that you could have somebody new coming in towards uh, pretty soon here, okay? Maybe somebody who's been checking you out. Uh, maybe you're doing some dating online, but I feel there's an energy around you that you still got somebody on your mind, 
but your intuition may be telling you right that uh you know maybe the the pain the hurt what happened is just too much you may be deciding here to move towards new love is what i'm getting i definitely see messages uh messages coming through you know um possibly hear dates from new people uh, I always say, Scorpio, you always have options. Let's see why the, the Page of Wands and the Hermit is here, please. Why is the Page of Wands? Now, this could be this other person here because the Hermit's here as well, right? Maybe have some time to think about things. But why is the Page of Wands and the Hermit here, please? You have the Strength card, Strong Leo, the Ace of Cups. Oh, boy, look at that. Repeating energy is the Tower again. Oh, boy. And the five of cups yeah so this person here right the hermit they've had a lot of time to think about this there's something from this person's past that they had to deal with right and i feel like it's something here that you weren't expecting to happen or things abruptly ended between you and this person or you know some sort of drama or chaos happened this person is feeling remorseful okay with this five of cups they're definitely feeling, uh, having regrets here. You do have the three of pentacles as well. You know, some of you could be a third party situation, but for others, I feel this person's having regrets, uh, feeling like hoping, hoping that they can work things out. As I said, I do get page of wands energy here, five, uh, fire energy. So maybe they've had some time to think about things. They're having regrets here. I feel like this person is uh, trying to gain the courage here, right, to reach out to you because you do have the Ace of Cups. All right, so this is my yes card or my wish card here. So if you've been hoping and wishing for this person to reach out, I feel uh, the divine here is giving another opportunity for you and this person. It's if you want it. If not, I feel you've got new energy here, okay? Uh, or your intuition is telling you here to move towards new energy. So let's see what the potential is here in this situation. And then I am going to, for those of you who are wanting, right, to work things out with someone, I am going to go to the extent, uh, well, first I'm going to ask what your person is thinking or feeling about you. Then we'll look at uh, the extended of their upcoming actions, intentions, love notes and guidance and i will look at new love as well since i feel new love energy here so let's see what the potential is we have seven of cups already the hangman okay yeah too ha too many hands in the pot here <laughs> that's what i heard with the seven of cups uh there's something here uh other people i feel involved now we do have the wheel on the bottom of the deck here so it tells me there's going to be a change or a shift in the energy so i'm going to pull three more cards okay uh and see there's the wheel okay again ten of cups page of swords okay Interesting. We saw the page of sorts. Now we have the temperance. There's divine timing here in your situation. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We just saw um, the tower here uh, and the ace of cups. All right. So here's the deal, Scorpio. Let's look at this. Okay. So I was saying I feel there's too many hands in the pot. Okay. There's a shift. There's a change happening here. This tower happened for a reason. You now have the wheel of fortune. This was fated to happen, to bring things in a new direction, a new cycle here. Uh, it does feel like this is things turning in your favor. I am going to say here too, as I said, you usually have options in your readings, Scorpio. So I feel like maybe fate here is bringing you other options. For those of you who feel your intuition is telling you to move in a new direction, um, right or just you know the divine here wants to give you more than one option okay there is divine timing here okay so it feels with this chariot card and the ace of swords there is an upcoming new beginning here for you a fresh start but there may be a little bit of delay here in the timing right uh so i don't see here that things are going to like take off really quickly here uh you know it's the timing is going to be different for all of you. You do have the death card here, 
uh, your energy here, Scorpio. But it feels there's a new beginning that's in the works, right? That the universe is putting together here, right? There's a shift in the energy, okay, where things are going to start to blossom for uh, you and somebody here. Now, you have the hangman and you have the ten of cups, okay? You have the two of swords here as well. So I feel like you could still be hung up on this person here, right? Still hung up on this person. Uh, there could also be still be some karma here. But this is my releasing karma card here, okay, with someone here. So somebody that you thought you were meant to be, you could be releasing karma. But this also can be seeing things in a different perspective because I do see here, you have the hangman twice. I do feel there is uh, somebody here reaching out to you here with this page of cups. Could be a water sign. Now, um, we'll see as we go on, you know, if this is the new person or somebody here from your past when we ask about what your person is thinking or feeling about you, okay? Uh, you have the two of swords and you have the page of swords, okay? So this is really, I feel, you having to make a decision here, right? Maybe doing some investigation here uh, with the Page of Swords, but also an energy I feel here that uh, maybe you're waiting for communication from this person here before you're making any decisions, right? You need more clarity, right? You need to kind of dig a little deeper and find out what's going on. So I'm going to pull now uh, what your person is thinking or feeling about you. This person that I feel that there was... Uh, a tower moment or something happened here. Oh, I just realized my cards are backwards. Okay. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. How is this person thinking or feeling about Scorpio? How is this person thinking or feeling about Scorpio? Okay, we have the world card. We have the death card. There you are. Look at that, Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups showed up with your person, okay? So that can indicate that there is some sort of delay, okay, with you and this person. That makes sense here with the divine intervention here, timing, um, a shift in the energy, okay? Bottom of the deck here, we have the Knight of Swords, all right? So I do get that this person here, I do feel um, potentially there is a opportunity for you and this person here to change things, to transform things, to have a new beginning, a new cycle here in love. You have, uh, there it is, the chariot and uh, the knight of swords. So I feel like once this person comes towards you with communication, that's the delay here I feel a little bit here is uh, this person coming towards you. But once they do, I feel like things could take off pretty quickly here. So what I'm going to do, Scorpio, we'll pursue this further. We'll see where it goes in the extended dive deeper, uh, like I said, in their actions, intentions, all of that. Um, and we'll see where it goes. So I hope to see you there, Scorpio. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.